Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this video, we will discuss on the topic hypothalamus. Hypothalamus as we all know that it is a endocrine gland. Endocrine glands are ductless glands. Means the hormones that are secreted through these glands reaches the target organ by the presence of blood, blood circulatory system. So that is, they are, they do not have any ducts to carry the hormones. So they are ductless glands. So hypothalamus is one such endocrine gland. Hypothalamus, if we talk about the location of it, it is present at the base of the brain. In the fourth brain, basically we can say that the most uh, specific uh, location of hypothalamus is that it is present in the fourth brain, in the diencephalon, the base of the diencephalon. It contains a group of neurosecretory cells called the nuclei. So basically the hypothalamus consists of various groups of cells which are neurosecretory. Neuro, uh, now what is the meaning of neurosecretory cells? Neurosecretory cells are means that they are neurons that have adapted the function of secretion. So they are called as the neurosecretory cells and these cells are called as the nuclei. These cells secrete hormones. These neurosecretory cells or we can say that nuclei secrete hormones that are released from the hypothalamus. Hypothalamus basically secretes nine such neurohormones. The hormones produced by hypothalamus are of two types. Releasing hormone, inhibiting hormone. Releasing hormone means either the hormones which are released from the hypothalamus instructs the pituitary gland to release some particular hormones or it will inhibit the, the secretion of some hormones if it uh, if it uh, control if, if it uh, says means it, it if it uh, meaning that if the hypothalamus instructs the pituitary gland to release some hormones so the uh, that hormones are called as releasing hormone if the hypothalamus instruct the pituitary gland to inhibit the secretion of some particular hormones, these hormones will be called as the inhibiting hormones. So, uh, let us understand this with an example. For example, the hypothalamus releases a hormone which is called as the gonadotropin releasing hormone, GnRH. Short form is GnRH and it's this gonadotropin releasing hormone stimulates the pituitary uh, to synthesize and release the gonadotrophins so it instructs the the GnRH hormone which is released from the hypothalamus it will instruct the pituitary gland to uh, release the gonadotrophin hormone gonadotrophin hormones are two types LH and FSH so these two hormones will be released now inhibiting hormone example uh, example is for example the uh, hypothalamus releases a hormone which is called stomatostasin. This stomatostasin, once released from the hypothalamus, it will inhibit the release of growth hormone which is released from the pituitary gland. So this way, the hypothalamus has a control over the pituitary gland. Pituitary gland works under the full control of hypothalamus. So as the hypothalamus controls the pituitary gland, Hypothalamus is called as the master gland of the body. Initially, the pituitary gland was regarded as the master gland. But now, as uh, uh, scientists have found out the actual uh, actual organ which, uh, uh, which uh, controls the pituitary gland, so hypothalamus is called as the master gland. The hormones which are released by the hypothalamus reaches the anterior pituitary. Now we all know that pituitary gland has two parts, posterior part and anterior part. So the anterior part of the pituitary is uh, the hormones which are released by the hypothalamus reaches the anterior part of the pituitary by the portal circulatory system. What is the portal circulatory system? We will discuss in the next video. And it uh, reaches the hormone from the hypothalamus reaches the posterior pituitary by the help of neurons so it will help it will reach the posterior pituitary by the help of neurons
because the neurons are the posterior part of the pituitary are totally under the control of the neurons and neurons are responsible for carrying the hormones from the hypothalamus to the posterior pituitary so this was all about the hypothalamus hope you like this video and in the next video we will discuss about the pituitary gland thank you